Welcome to this instructional video on the decontamination of an ambulance following the transfer of a patient with a highly infectious disease. In this video, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process to ensure the safety of healthcare workers, other patients and caretakers. This procedure should be performed after each transfer of a patient with a highly infectious disease. Please remember that this process requires specialized training and should only be done by trained personnel. Let's get started. Uganda is an epidemic prone country. We lie within the region and between 2000 and now we have registered 10 uh, viral hemorrhagic and uh, severe acute respiratory disease outbreaks. Uh, the transfer of these patients requires careful planning, coordination, and adherence to protocols in order to minimize infections to the community and also to the healthcare workers. Before starting the ambulance decontamination, it's crucial to gather all necessary supplies. During the decontamination process, ensure that only the person involved in the process will be in the ambulance. That is to say, no patient or caregiver. Step 1. Prepare the team. Uh, my name is Janice. We are going to Assemble a team of trained ambulance crew or hygienists, ideally at least two individuals plus an observer or supporter. Step 2. Prepare equipment. Assemble the personal protective equipment for each hygienist. Assemble the cleaning and disinfection products. Step 3. Prepare the ambulance. Move the ambulance to the designated decontamination area. Please note that the driver's cabin, being a green zone, should receive regular cleaning and there is no need to apply disinfectant. Step 4. Prepare chlorinated water and soapy water. Lay out and organize all materials or equipment on plastic sheeting outside the ambulance and prepare chlorinated water and soapy water solutions. Bucket 1, soapy water. Bucket 2, clean water. Bucket 3, chlorine 0.5%. And bucket 4, clean water. Step 5. Perform hand hygiene and put on personal protective equipment. Perform hand hygiene. Follow the steps in the hand hygiene video resource. Don personal protective equipment according to the Ministry of Health standard operating procedure. Follow the steps in the donning and doffing video resource. Heavy duty gloves should be worn over latex or nitrile gloves. Ask the observer to review if there are breaches in the personal protective equipment. Step 6. Identify waste collection area. Identify the area for collection of waste and soil linen outside the ambulance. One person should be outside the ambulance with the bag container open to collect waste and linen. This will be the clean outer container. A bin or bag to collect the contaminated personal protective equipment should be installed in this area. Step 7. Remove contaminated waste. Leave the rear doors of the ambulance open to allow proper ventilation. A person inside the ambulance carefully removes contaminated waste and puts it in the waste bag. Carefully remove all the linen and put it in the plastic bag. Carefully transfer the bagged waste and linen to the outside bins. Step 8. Perform cleaning and disinfection of ambulance equipment. 
Remove the ambulance trolley and place it outside in the area you will perform its decontamination procedure. Remove other ambulance equipment and place it on a plastic sheet outside the ambulance where equipment decontamination will be performed. Clean all the ambulance equipment following the standard operating procedure for ambulance equipment decontamination. Step 9. Perform cleaning and disinfection of internal surfaces. Start cleaning the internal ambulance surfaces from the innermost section of the patient cabin, moving from the top to the bottom. First, clean with soapy water. Second, rinse with clean water. Third, disinfect with chlorine 0.5%. Fourth, after contact time of 10 minutes, remove the chlorine residue with clean water. Lastly, let air dry. Ensure that all horizontal surfaces and all vertical surfaces in the ambulance, including windows and panels, are cleaned and disinfected, even if they don't have visible soil. Special attention should be done to mats to ensure that all surfaces are cleaned. Cleaning clothes should be discarded into the waste bag whenever they become dirty. The content of the bucket should be discarded whenever they become dirty and replaced by fresh ones. Step 10. Perform cleaning and disinfection of the floor. Clean the ambulance floor using the same unidirectional procedure starting from the end of the ambulance to the front door using separate buckets and newly prepared solutions. First, clean with soapy water. Second, rinse with clean water. Third, disinfect with chlorine 0.5%. After contact time of 10 minutes, remove the chlorine residue with clean water. Lastly, let air dry. Step 11. Perform cleaning and disinfection of the external surface. Clean thoroughly the external ambulance surface using separate buckets or newly prepared solutions. First, clean with soapy water. Second, rinse with clean water. Third, disinfect with 0.5% chlorine. Please note that the exterior of the ambulance does not require a full disinfectant wipe down, except for door handles. 
After contact time of 10 minutes, remove chlorine residue with clean water. Lastly, let air dry. Allow the ambulance to be open and ventilated for about 20 to 30 minutes to minimize the odor of the disinfectant. Step 12. Disposal of contaminated items. Dispose the contaminated items as follows. Discard the cleaning cloth in the waste bag. Discard the remaining content of the buckets safely into a designated area. Step 13. Removal of personal protective equipment. Remove the personal protective equipment outside the ambulance according to the standard operating procedure. Follow the steps in the doffing and doffing video resource. An observer should supervise doffing to ensure the safety of the procedure. Discard the personal protective equipment that is disposable in the waste bin or bag. Remove boots and reusable aprons and place them in appropriate plastic bag or bin to send to personal protective equipment decontamination area. Perform hand hygiene. Step 14. Report. Finally, record the ambulance identification, date and time of procedure. The ambulance is now ready to safely transfer another patient.